Well, here we are again. I'm uh, going to do another video. It's not going to be a long video. Uh, a little bit on the Zortrax M200 that I have, and a little bit more on the um, on the Typhoon H Pro. Um, I've had a lot of requests since the video uh, I put on YouTube as, as regards um, the landing lights or strobe lights, um, and it. <laughs> In fact, I've been I've had I've had quite a job to try and answer all the emails. Um, I've designed from request. I've designed some rechargeable lights this time, strobe lights. The ones that I originally did, brilliant. You just put two button cell type batteries into the unit, and and away you go. A little switch on, and switch them on. Um, I got a what requests um, if I did a rechargeable one? Well, um, I will put a link into the company that I deal with for the printed boards for the strobe and um, a link um, to where um, I can, you can, the page that you can get the rechargeable unit. On the original lights, I bought a board and then I bought the dome plastic dome which you need because that gives you then just the LED strobing that reflects by about 30 to 40 percent more um, given light um, distribution and and it you can notice a difference when you've got the, the dome off and then you put the dome back on it's a lot more um, vibrant is the strobing um, so you definitely need that um, so I designed it round the dome and what I did was uh, I purchased the printed boards that they do I mean, and it has a rechargeable battery on it and a plug in socket you can plug with a normal phone connector that most phones have now, mobile phones, um, and it lasts for quite some time. It, so, but I had to design to switch it on. It is a minute button on the printed board that you actually have to actuate. Now there are lots out there that that work. You you put it on, you slide it in, and then you you know away you go. This is a self-contained unit. Um, once you've fastened it in, you can charge it through the side. You can switch it on through the unit as well. Um, but um, I'm just going to set one off printing, so I'll uh, I'll show you that, and then uh, what entails with that, and then I'll show you on the um, what I have on the top here, um, the previous lights, strobe lights, and the ones that I have designed now. Um, and I think the the they're pretty good. Both of them are pretty good. So anyway, I'll take you off to um, M200. Right here we are at the uh, printer. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm, I find this machine absolutely first class, and they've brought the new one out now, the M200 Plus, of which I'm gonna um, think I'm gonna invest in has a few more refinements to it um, a camera you can watch it but I have a camera on the wall so I can watch it link downstairs anywhere I am in the house or if I go out and leave it I can still watch it but this has one built on board um, and it's a uh, it's got a lot more additions to the new one um, I'm not going to go through that but um, it's pretty simple on on the tool you just select once you put your chip in you select models and then it'll flick through and you just turn the dial mine's the recharge based complete kit finished press that it tells you on the screen um, tells you what it is material which is Z apes um, and then the material usage 7 grams print time 1 hour 17 minutes then you press print and it'll go into heating up of the platform uh, once it starts, once it's got 200% on the platform, it'll then go on to the extruder head. Um, 
the nozzle will heat up then to the temperature that's preset for the material that you use. Um, I've just installed the um, the new software version 2 of the um, Z Suite and uh, originally um, when I installed it it wouldn't the program was there but it wouldn't work so this is what I mean about the backup service that you have with Zortrax I emailed them and within a couple of hours I got a reply wanting to know exactly why and um, what I'd done that I had the, the previous up to date Z Suite on and then I installed the new Z Suite um, and it once you actuated on it uh, it there's nothing showed nothing came up so immediately got back with the reply had to in an email run um, had to remove uninstall um, various things off the off my computer once I'd done that I had to run this zip file and once I run this zip file I had to download the new software install it and then had to actuate the the new program bingo it worked first time and it is rather good as the new Z suite the version 2 um, I emailed Zortrax back and uh, thanking them very much for the prompt service and uh, I got an email back again saying I'm great and glad that it's 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 worked for you um, we like to have the feedback because we know we've done something right and we've got our customers happy um, and wished me a Merry Christmas now you can't want any further than that so that's one of the reasons why that I picked this machine the quality of the build and the that the the actual backup service that you have spare parts um, it's really good um, I'm just waiting for the it's 97% it's now is the uh, platform uh, once it reaches temperature going to the nozzle now as you can see from um, the display that it's now heating the extruder uh, please wait um, it's at 34% at the moment so once it's done this this is probably the only time that um, is yeah unfortunately it's one of those situations where it has to go through its process um, but I'm normally doing something else while this is actually heating up uh, once it's going, it, once if you want print after print, um, it doesn't take as long as this. This is from cold, so it's it's not doing too bad. Um, we know there's other printers on the market that can that can heat up in next to no time, but unfortunately, this one gives me quality prints every time. Uh, there's no waste um, from failed prints. It does it. Uh, I just wish that um, in some ways that um, I had two because uh, I only like to print one off on the platform at a time and the items that I'm doing um, but if I had the other one I could print other parts off um, anyway financial wise I don't think uh, piggy bank will go to that so Right, it's up at 100% now, so any minute now, the light will kick on. And as you can see, there's a right little bit of plastic from the hot end that actually expands out, which is quite normal. I always pull that off. And what this will do now is, it'll go on, because you notice there's there's five metal plates on top of the um, printer bed. That'll touch off. This is checking that the bed is reasonably level it's touching I am touching this once you've done an initial bed level it'll tell you whether it's out and then it'll come across to the left hand corner touch again and it'll go across raise up and then it'll start to print the raft
as you can see there that's the first parts of the raft that he's printing um, there's a lot of printers out there that just print straight onto the bed the item um, yeah um, if, if that's what you want that's fine um, unfortunately this machine prints a raft for it to for the um, part to be um, well it's not it's it very easy to remove uh, it's not something that's that's difficult um, people you know sitting yeah but you're wasting a lot of um, material with the raft every time well for what it is but I know that when I've done the part it's it's not moving especially when you're doing ABS um, that part needs to adhere to the printer bed and with the raft it adheres to it so um, but while that's uh, printing away I'll take you over to the bench and show you the uh, the lights right here we are at the um, the bench um, if you remember um, on the previous video these were the first um, units that I, I actually did um, as you can see there's there's a very s small switch um, when you activate that that's the power and they actually clip it's two d-cell batteries inside that's the printed board and the plastic dome they actually clip to the leg so you can have it underneath or to the front whichever I have I have mine underneath like that quite visible or you can turn them round doesn't matter how you, how you put them on they just snap on the legs um, they do different colours um, that's the actual what comes off the printer there that's that actually comes off the raft um, the parts that's the raft that the printer's doing now I've just showed you doing that and that is the actual parts there's one two three four parts there for that unit all done at once so I know when I've printed this off that it's it's a complete unit barring the dome barring the printed board but then I got asked to could I produce some um, rechargeable ones so I said I'll have a go right that is the the original that is the rechargeable one now if you notice they're slightly wider um, that's due to the fact that it has a port on it and the board is slightly wider um, it's trial and error with anything but the switch is inside so what you have on that is the charging port and that is the switch it's not an actual switch it actually touches a pin on the board the button on the board so you actually hold that wait while it flashes once and that's the strobe and then you press it again wait while it flashes twice and that's off uh, as I say where I, I purchased them from they actually the, the, for what they are they, there's a little I'll show, in fact I'll show you inside them um, I'll take one apart um, this is the only way that the two screws that fastens the dome on that clips out as you can see that has a little button and on the back that's what actually presses onto this is the printed board and you can see that little button there that is what actually operates this unit 
so you can see oh <laughs> it's very difficult to get something that will actually oper operate that but um, trial and patience um, and I got it right that is the rechargeable battery that's on the back um, 3.7 volts and I, I believe I believe it's uh, uh, eighty milliamp hour. Um, so, but you no need to take this out once it's in, because it it it'll recharge it within the unit, the the ports at the side. Now, as you can see, what's inside there, um, and that is what that is printed on the print that's what it's doing now as you can see that there is the little button that you put on the other side of that because it's obviously printed on the raft flat I wanted that flat so I actually put that on the other side of that this is the housing unit that's the clip that's the top um, pretty simple very similar to the other one but obviously um, still, still on the raft now these are some that I've printed off earlier because um, I've asked quite a, uh, a few people has asked me um, friends that I know could I do some for them I said yeah um, and it, I've had some requests of the uh, from the video would I think about um, selling them uh, I haven't yet I'm possibly going if anybody wants to get in contact with me um via my email that quite welcome to do so um but this is just to show you this is um these are started off um trial and error um got that one that was pretty pretty good um that was the one of the first ones but i found that the opening needed to be a bit bigger um, and I designed the buttons a bit different now these are all trial so you won't get the you can with the, if you if you get it right the first time you're doing exceptionally well um, and there's some other bits but all they are, are test pieces and from that I've produced one that works perfectly now um, and as I say the I think I covered it in the last video um, when you when I'm wanting to uh, glue any of the parts together because obviously the the clip is fastened to the back of that the base unit now I've tried various glues in the past but this and I got this from a tip off off YouTube uh, from a gentleman and I, I mentioned it in the last video is I have little, the little jam bar, jars there and what I do is any waste material that I've used I pop in the jar and put a little bit of acetone in you can you can actually make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want and I make it like a, a, a runny cream let it dissolve then I put a little bit on the back of the clip on that face and it's popped on there and I don't know if you can just see you can just see a little bit of the adhesive right inside you break the clip before you break that because it's the same material and it welds it it bonds it it's absolutely brilliant um, you don't have to purchase any glues so if I'm using ABS I do the same if I'm using Z Ips I use the same um, Z Ultra I do the same but I don't put ABS adhesive on Z Ips or, or or on the um, the Ultra, um, I keep the same material for the same adhesive. So, um, but yeah, so that's how they've come about now. Um, but like I was saying, it's these are very good, self-contained. Um, but that board alone. It's just under ten pound. Now you might think it's expensive, but um, and the dome is about a pound um, from a com company, and I'll I'll give you the links to it um, below. But 
but actually what do you value your drone at I know my drone my Typhoon H um, cost me about about £1,300 um, now I'm not going to lose that and I do some quite a lot of um, late evening flying I think it's brilliant that time of the night That time of the night, some of the shots that I've that you get is outstanding at right time of the night. But obviously, you're taking the shots and you wanting to bring it back. Um, you you can see these, um, no mistake on that. Um, so I think for the cost under twelve pound, you've got the board and the uh, and the dome. But unfortunately, you've uh, unless you you pop it in something that you make yourself you know these look really tidy they match the colour of the Typhoon H um, and they look professionally done um, that's what I like about them they're very small and compact whichever the D cell obviously that bat there's two D cell batteries button cell batteries sorry um, don't last quite as long as that one um, but they're still lengthy um, and the cheap on internet are the pack of the batteries. I got 20, 20 of the batteries for about whoa, about four pound. So <laughs> you've a lot of running. And what I do is every time I go out, I flower. If if the battery starts to fade off a little bit, what you'll find is instead of it strobing, it just flashes. Um, but what I do is I just bring it back, change the batteries. It's a two minute job, two screws change the batteries back on again either one or recharge them um, it's whatever uh, people are wanting but um, innovation is great I mean at one time you'd have had to cut bits of plastic up and, and stuck it together but in the age of the 3d printing it's um, it's you know everybody can be a designer and design something providing you've got the software um, to for for your needs and and radio controlled drones or radio controlled cars or radio controlled aircraft, um, it you know it it can it's a it's a a door that opens. It's another path for for you to try and go down. I have some. I'll try and find them. in there somewhere I actually had some of these that um, a gentleman wanted me to print very shallow but only for the for the round boards very very small and he's, he wires them himself all you can see is the round unit there's no switch part so all you see is that but very very slim and he fastens them to his remote control aircraft um, as I say it's not a it's not a, a task that um, I've sat hours here and, and, and designing things and measuring them off. Why did that fail? Why does that not fit? And, and eventually you get it right. But that's probably the uh, the fun about it, really. Um, wife says many a time, you must like your computer better than you like me. Uh, I said, I don't want to answer that low on the grounds, it might incriminate me. But anyway, but the printers, I'll just take you out to print and show you how it's going so far. As you can see there now, it's done the raft and it's doing the model. Doing the parts. And it's, I don't, well, it's not a, it take, what's left on time wise, 50, 58 minutes. Um, so actually printing the item isn't that long, but obviously with the raft, that's including the time. So, very small at moving.
but I'm sure that'll it'll print off okay. Every confidence. Um, well, that's busy printing away. Um, I hope it's uh, shown a little bit more on uh, the items that I've done. Um, if anybody does want any information, feel free to email me. Um, I'm no expert at this, but I'm a great believer in the fact that, you know, the number of times that I've gone on YouTube to find the answers to something that I'm, I'm wanting to do, and it's there. Um, and I believe in giving something back. And, uh, and I just hope it helps somebody. Um, as I say, it's when you consider that the parts here take very little time really to print quite a bit of time to design but I could not have done this without the help from other people with answers for the software answers for on 3D printers answers on how to fasten the parts together that you've printed. There's a host of subjects that I've had to research in order to get this far. And uh, and, it, and and if somebody asks me a question, if I can help them, I will do. Uh, so feel free to try and, uh, and email me if you can. Uh, I'll answer what I can. Um, I will. I'm going to make another video um, soon. Um, be on some other parts for the drone, but um, I'm, they're still in design, so I'll say I won't say too much about those. But, um, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas, because it's before Christmas now, and uh, a prosperous New Year. So till then, bye.